Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls and friends beyond the binary, hello and welcome. Uh, I'm- oh, no, 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 don't do that. Don't keep playing things. Quit playing things. I'm the only one who can play things around here. How you doing? I'm Christy. And speaking of playing, we're going to play PUBG. Uh, it's our last bi-weekly PUBG stream. It's uh, one of the... did I unmute myself? Sure did. Okay. Fantastic. I felt paranoid about it for a second. Everything went too right. <laughs> uh, it's the last of our bi-weekly PUBG streams and the second to last PUBG streaming I'm ever going to do. Ever, ever. Uh, so I figured we'd make it a thing. Uh, let me talk about that music real quick. That was Death Machines by Crondor Crew. That I spelt with a K and a C instead of a K and a K on the titles. That's not right. It's with two Ks. That's something I learned while looking for it. It's been a long time since I've heard that track, uh, but it was been in my head today. Condor Crew is, uh, you remember when Nerdcore was a thing? When that was, like, going to be an interesting, like, subsection of the hip-hop community? Pepperidge Farm remembers. Yeah. <laughs> Condor Crew was the kind of the hardcore contingent in that they talked a lot about, like, murder stuff, and then, nah. <laughs> it was, like, it, it was murder stuff, but it was all, like, anime-based. <laughs> I'm saying Mega Man is a great example of nostalgia clouding perception in a series, despite market improvements in each iteration. You're not wrong. I don't know what that has to do with what we're doing. That's what got you into hip hop. Yeah, it's kind of what got me into hip hop too. It's it's a it was a safe gateway. Let me uh, I'm I'm uh, going into this music too much. Let's get into this damn game. One of these buttons will bring up the uh, will bring up this lobby. So here we go. Everybody say hi to say hi to the PUBG lobby. Is that coming through? Should be. Yeah. Look at this. They, they really want to push this Invitational uh, and also their Event Pass and also their Season Pass and so they've cut all of the interesting parts of this down to nothing. It's just me, my battle lesbian, and this shiny stupid gold thing that's cut off by its own UI half the time. Uh, well, let's clutter up the board even more because I got a button to hit. Uh, I said on the, the two that I was bringing back fan favorite. Uh, you know it. You love it. You can't convince me that you don't. The... Nope. That should be... Showing the... Showing the box? It's not showing the box. Huh, so I have a program that rolls a that rolls a dice. And that's not uh showing on the screen, is it? Sure isn't. Let's try display capture. Oh, well that's showing some other stuff. Which is fine. We're just gonna click these buttons real quick. I don't know why that uh display window isn't working. Anyway, here's a box. We're gonna we're gonna hit this button, and we're gonna play uh, with the rules that the button chooses for us. Uh, we got normal run. We got chat choosing drop. That should be fun. Pacifist run explains itself. The jackal, where I can only use guns that I take off of corpses, because the jackal's a scavenger, and also because Alice and Janney dancing is very attractive. Uh, Nuzlocke Challenge, if you've seen other Nuzlocke Challenge, you could have an idea of how it goes. And Lightning Round, where I'm just going to try and murder every single son of a bitch I see. Let's see how this is going to go. Chat chooses drop, sure. Let's go back to the game capture instead of display capture, so if I get the bloops, those aren't going to show up. I agree, what the fuck. I, th I think you posted into the wrong, uh, the wrong chat box. Anyway, how y'all doing? Man, you're just gonna keep pushing this PUBG Global Invitational. How you doing, Zach? Are you having a good night? Uh, I noticed you've sent a, 
a couple new invitations out. Have you, uh, changed your, your instance twice? Oh. Oh, hey. It's the, uh, it's the new map. I haven't actually played on this, the jungle one. There's balls, apparently. How do I balls? Other oh, in here? No, that's not it. That's odd. Huh? Yeah, that's in the stream chat. Okay. Actually had a Pleroma instance, but you had issues with it, so I set up a Masto instance. Uh, that's okay. Uh, people have a down about Pleroma. I, I don't know enough about software to be able to have an opinion about that. Speaking of not, uh, speaking of not knowing enough, I know absolutely nothing about this whole, whole place. Oh no, you're choosing the drop. Anyone have some words that are popping out at them? You need to, you need to go quick. Okay, cool. Um... Uh, between A and D. I think we're about to get the drop chosen for us. Now? Sure. Just, just straight down. Go east. Alrighty. Master using it, and you can have this. I should have thought about that the entire time I was like complaining in the uh, in the lobby. So I guess we're just gonna go as far east as possible. This is a much smaller map, huh? It's what like a quarter the size of another map. It's about Fortnite-sized cough. Which is to say it's, what, too big for what it's trying to do? All right. Well. Uh, I'm interested to see how this goes. Picked, we picked ourselves up a UMP right off the bat, so it's not nothing. Oh, and an M4? Really? Alright. That's not a bad little Christmas. Oh, okay, you were saying it's Fortnite size because, um, cough, that's what's popular, cough, cough. Which also makes sense. Uh, we're just gonna steal this, put that compensator on there. We're not gonna worry too much about the, the popcorn we hear happening in the distance. So, uh, we are about to get into some music, she says, preparing herself. Uh, the music is, uh, going to be DJed live for us by my, uh, lovely wife Katie. And she gets her music mostly from uh, from Argo Fox. It's a collective of musicians. Yes, that is her in the chat with the KJ. Uh, with the KJ signature. She's an incredible lady. I'm very happy to know her. Uh, she gets, uh, as I was saying, she gets her music from Argo Fox mostly, which is a collective of musicians who make their work available royalty free. Uh, the act the individual songs will be showing up in our chat, so they'll be on screen with the chat catcher. And if you want to go listen to them after you're done here, please go do that. Most of that music is very good. We're, uh,. We're doing okay. Oh, there it is. We're already in top 62. Oh, someone's been here already. Looks like 
they just kind of rushed through and left the stuff. I don't know that I would like to take advantage. How are my frames doing? They're okay. They're real okay. Uh, do we want the shotgun over the UMP? No, nah, I think we want the UMP. I think rapid fire is going to be good for us. Ooh, it's meant to click draw mag though. Have that all day. Gas can in case we need some truck friends. Put a forward grip on there. Why not? Level two vest. Uh, so I haven't even looked at the map a little bit. Uh, oh, I guess the first circle is just entirely the size of the island, so it's not even worth bothering. How's your experience with, uh, with PUBG? Zach, do you play any, or are you, uh, are you just here supporting me and all I do? Jafar is all-encompassing. That is true. He is going to clamber up for us sooner or later. You've only played Fortnite? Well, PUBG is almost exactly the same. I heard someone shoot at me. Yeah, there you go. Uh, so everyone... Ah. Uh, this is our new friend. Maybe I don't need to name you. We're not gonna name you. Cause I'm just gonna have to leave you on that thing. I'm a bad truck parent. Like, this is exactly just, uh. This is exactly how. Like, this is why I shouldn't be a parent of an actual child. Cause. It's kinda just. Me not being any way responsible. It's, don't be sad for that truck. It's, it's fine. It's got a nice view of the lake. Uh, take all of this. Oh my god, are you serious? An AWM, take all of this. Magnum ammo, yes, please and thank you. Yeah, it's retired now. It's, it's lived a useful life, moving us, uh, not more than 40 yards. And, uh, is just going to live out the remainder of its days up there, resting on, uh, on the tops of a rock. Let us just load this wonderful gun we've been handed. Um... Nobody's obvious, that doesn't mean they're not here. Why do cameras always bleed in shooters? Uh, cause you... Uh, cause you need a visual indicator of how hurt you are, I guess. Alright, that's firing, but not at me. So, let's go see who they are shooting at. And uh, see if we can't give them a wonderful, a wonderful surprise. This is not full auto yet. Yeah, but it is a bad indicator. Yeah, it's not great. <laughs> Actually heard. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Actually heard uh, today that um, like the. The Uncharted series, so everyone kind of not shits on, but everyone dunks on Uncharted for having Nathan Drake, who's presumably just a normal human guy in a shitty t-shirt roaming around the jungle, for taking a billion bullets. Uh, Naughty Dog released a, a statement saying, no, that's not actually the thing. The red that you're seeing around the screen is not an indicator of his health. It's an indicator of Nathan Drake's luck. He's miss—he's being missed by all of those bullets. 
and so when it goes completely black and white, his luck is run out, and the next bullet kills him. It's the one shot. Yeah, exactly. He's a leprechaun, so his luck regens whenever he takes a deep breath. Yeah, I also was surprised by that. It's a it's like actually kind of clever, but like not good. Oh, I put you on the bottom so you're not being okay. That's the reason that's not working. Yeah, there it is. That's why the capture space wasn't working. It's because I uh, had it hidden underneath the game. Anyway. That was very quick, which I'm excited about. I like quick games. It means I don't have to dig myself in super deep. It's a way better explanation than most people ever thought of. I agree, it's just they haven't, like... They, ha they had to make this after four Uncharted games? More? Uh, something that they said in a press release when someone talked to them about it, right? So it did roll, uh, and we got to normal run, which I kind of want to do. I, I have not played PUBG in a long time, actually. Oh, we need to get rid of the roll box. One sec. And I, I feel my bones reacting badly to trying to play PUBG again. I've been playing too much Realm Royale, and the key bindings are different. I keep wondering why I can't drop a heal bomb. So... The fact that they even had a response ready makes you happy. Well, that's good. Okay, and and here we are in good old um uh Reangel, Reangel, Re Reangel. Yes, that that place. Uh, it's the first map I ever played on. I know it so well, these wonderful humps and curves. I just want to lie on the ground and hug them. Um, what are we going to do here? So, it's pretty far south. It's the, is the line here where the plane goes over. I guess we go north? Get as much space between it and everyone else as possible. Run the risk of being outside the zone. Whoa, Keanu. I don't think that's how emotes work on Twitch. I think it's just the... Don't get me wrong, I would like it to. I would like to have a Keanu emote. What are we woeing about? Did I say, I, it, was it the thing about me wanting to hug the curves of the ground? Probably that, probably that. Thank you for coming to watch the stream, by the way. I, uh, Katie said thank you also. I kind of left it by the wayside because I was busy ranting about the guns or whatever. But we do appreciate having you. Exactly it. Well, you know. Ooh, hey. There's a brand new friend over there. We're gonna... As a matter of fact, we're just gonna grab our new friend and we're gonna go all the way to... Uh... No, not Shift. Shift doesn't bring up the map. M brings up the map. We're just gonna go all the way to Kaminsky? Let's do that. I like Kaminsky. I'm glad you enjoy being here. I do try. Alright, so... You get a name, because I'm not just going to leave you after 14 seconds. Xavier. Sure, Xavier. After the after the professional wrestlers. Much like his namesake, he is uh, light on his feet. And has four wheels. And is obsessed with pancakes. If they're still doing pancakes, I don't think they're still doing pancakes anymore. I think that was the last season.
part of the reason I miss uh, watching WWE is that I know that there's cool shit happening that I'm just not getting because all of the rest of the things about that fucking company are so bad that it's not worth it to me to stick around to watch uh, whatever the New Day are doing or how Dana Brooke is killing it and whatever stupid role they've given her because she's incredible. Right, Xavier also plays Final Fantasy XIV. What's your uh, class? Your, your quick? Your uh, agile? I think rogue? Kill people by blunt force trauma, so Marauder. I don't know enough about the Final Fantasy XIV classes, to be honest with you, to try and make these jokes. I'm giving it my best. Alright, so we come all the way up here to beautiful coastal Kameshki. I was about to complain about not finding guns, and then an AK happened. So that's good. Oh, vehicles do draw fire, so either Warrior Paladin or Dark Man. Starring, directed by Sam Raimi. Right? That's it? Dark Man? Dark Knight, right. Like Batman. Starring Bruce Campbell. How would Bruce Campbell be as Batman, do you think? Like, they're both called Bruce, so that's something. Take like a thumb grip, I guess. I'm not super hype about it. I do like the shotgun. Ah, yes, my favorite class, directed by Sam Raimi. Yeah, it means that you have, uh, an ungodly amount of, like, HP. But when you die, it's a gory explosion. You think Bruce Campbell could pull off Brave and the Bold style Batman? Yeah, I guess it does, uh... I guess that does matter which Batman we're talking about. He wouldn't be a Christopher Nolan Batman. He has a hard time with darker, more serious roles. I haven't seen him in a lot of serious things, which I guess is to your point. I kind of would like to see... Like, there's no reason Bruce Campbell couldn't be an animated Batman. I am going to keep saying Batman like this, by the way. So, get buckled in for that. Finding anything good, really? Or I've been in here. This is where I came the first time. Uh, I think we need to move because the zone's gonna you know, start closing any old minute. Uh, we'll just take a quick tour along the coast. He probably would be a killer animated Batman. Yeah, I think he'd be really good as uh, a. Uh, hmm. Nope, it's gone straight out of my head, hasn't it? Oh, he could have done well in, like, Will Arnett's role as, uh, Lego Batman. I think that would have been a good Batman for him. Directed by Sammy is a sub-job mostly specializing in body horror skills. Like uh, it's like Dark Knight in that you're doing damage to yourself to heal other people, but it's uh, just a lot grosser. No, I know you meant Sam Raimi, but I'm calling him Sami from now on. Um, nope, come here. 
Yeah, Lego Movie Batman, that, like, braggadocious asshole Batman. That's for him. I guess it's not for him. Will Arnett. Will Arnett's a very good actor. And that's exactly his type of role. He did well in it. But... I'd be lying to you if I didn't want to told you I didn't want to... Gosh darn it. If I didn't want to see Bruce Campbell in more things. I guess he, like, doesn't have to work. Like, he does conventions and stuff, and I'm pretty sure he just lives in his house out in the... out in the Oregon woodlands. Oops, that's... Is that someone else with a truck? Out there. Sure is. I don't think they're coming here, though. He does have Ash vs. Evil Dead, that's true. I sh which I should watch more of. I've seen pieces of it. And I've liked literally everything I've seen. I just need to set aside the time. Oh, no, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, you're... Um, that's... That's very embarrassing. Hey, hey, X. Um... I'm real sorry. I didn't mean... I didn't mean that. I didn't mean that. Come on, baby, you know I didn't mean it. It's just, you look, you look a lot alike. I'm, I'm just gonna, let's, let's just try it. Oh, versus Evil Dead did get cancelled. That sucks. Although I guess the... Uh, isn't it like on stars? Isn't it on like a uh, network that 60% of people get? That's not a that's not a good sign. Implying anyone has stars. Some people have stars. Not a lot. I think Ash vs. Evil Dead is one of the only like good originals they have. I was watching, oh god, I was watching this fucking show on Stars for a while. Not that I wanted to, but the people in my house really enjoyed it. Because of course they did. Uh, called... Boss? Starring Kelsey Grammer, well, Ke where Kelsey Grammer was the mayor of... Chicago, I think? Uh, or Detroit, some industrialized, uh, town. And it was all about, like, political intrigue. It was, like, um, House of Cards, but on a much smaller scale. And he had, like, a hot assistant that's introduced in, like, the first scene. And I'm like, she's really attractive. I wonder how long it's going to take before they, like, get her with her tits out because it's, uh, like, show on third-tier cable and you can get away with that. And, like, literally the fourth scene. <laughs> Like, literally the fourth scene. It, it took no time whatsoever. It's very disappointing. So, of course, uh, it was well-beloved. I also didn't know it was on Netflix. That's something I could probably put together in uh, my spare time. On, on my weekends. keep meaning to, oh, hopefully because of that it'll get picked up for a fourth season on Netflix. That would be good. It would be better than some of the other stuff that Netflix is bringing out. Although Netflix is also, like, kind of bankrolling Lucha Underground, the new season of Lucha Underground, so I'm not gonna, like, fight them about what they want to do. Like, it's exactly the same thing, right? It's a show that's well-beloved by the people, and then it doesn't work because it's on a cable channel people don't get. In Lucha Underground's case, the El Rey Network. Remember to call your cable provider and tell them you want to ride with El Rey. 
and uh, they just kind of stagnate for a while, and then it's like, yo, it's on Netflix, you can just easily consume it, and it's like, hey. Stranger Thing has happened, and that was a very good pun. Yeah, and the fact that they brought back uh, Arrested Development for a uh, final season is kind of wacky. Did they also, like, do the second season of Increasingly Poor Decisions of Todd and Margaret, or is that just something that um, IFC finally did on its own? Uh, we'll pick up this duck bill. Sure, why not? We have nothing else for this shotgun. So we might as well make it a widespread uh, fire. That is IFC. Alright. As a, as a savior of lost programming, I think uh, Netflix is doing a bang-up job. As an original... As a developer of original series, is they've got a couple, and then some other stuff. They have a couple of really good shows, and then a lot of other shows. You want to see another increasingly poor decision with Todd Marker? Maybe this time he has me. Nothing to do with the company at all. That would be very much what I feel David Cross wants to do with the with the show, right? It's very British programming where you have a series and it's a self-contained story, and so if you want to make another series after that, it's the same thing, only twisted, like uh, Blackadder or Alan Partridge or something. I have, I have opinions about David Cross, and they're not all good opinions. But they're not high opinions. They're, they're my opinions. Opinions aren't necessarily good or bad. There are some bad opinions. I hear too... Honestly, I hear too many bad opinions. But uh, liking David Cross isn't a bad opinion, it's just one that differs from my own. We've just been, uh... We've just been all alone out here. I think David Cross can be funny, but he's having a hard time changing with society. Yeah. The, uh, what's edgy now has changed significantly. Oh, we are absolutely taking that scar. I don't think we're not. Crap. No, give me, give me back the AKM so that I can get all the stuff off it. Thank you. Thank you. And... Five five six. We can up to seven six two. Right. So um. I think people kind of generally have got over the idea that um, apathy and uh, Gen X nihilism are interesting and have kind of moved along to, uh, 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 Mara has a, a term for this. What is it? Hope punk. There it is. Which is a term I'm not going to be done feeling good about. Ooh, hey. No, we're, we're taking this. Oh, yeah. That's, that's exactly what I wanted. 
to the other gun, the long, the long one with the long scope. I think we're good out here. I think we're just gonna stay at the edge as much as we can. I get Daddy to work on altering that candy punk dress. I didn't know you got a dress. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, oh, no, hang on. You're gonna hear, uh, some doubling for a second. Nope, got to it in time. Don't even, don't even worry about it. Got it for you, but you can't wear it because the armholes are too small. Aww. Uh. That sucks. I, uh, believe me, I know, uh, a lot about... ...about clothing that just looks great and doesn't fit, right? There's not a lot of clothes that are made for, uh, like, 6 foot 3 train girl with 9 foot wide shoulders. So when people look at, you know, generic body types... It's, uh, Samus Aaron isn't really on that list. I agree that those bushes do look like people from very far away. I think it is intentional. It's to, to keep you paranoid and on your toes. You know, I always think everything's a trap. That's why I'm still alive. Oh, that's a very loud gun. With a very big suppressor on it. It's coming from that way somewhere. Yep. Yeah, that's right, you stay back there. Closer tailored to her body. There's a reason to her costume design, and I love it. Yeah. Let's. Oh no, I don't want to hit report. Let's look at the death cam just to see how far away I get murdered from. Yeah, that was a hell of a shot. Oh no, it was someone like coming up from behind me. Ah, oh, that sucks. I thought it was like someone who was uh, coming to shoot me, but. Uh, like, one of the people who I was shooting at, but nah. Yeah, that was very good. Yeah, I got straight up taken. That sucked. Yeah, that happens. Yeah, well. 
what do you do? You just move on to the next thing. I did go flying. I wonder when they added that. Because that's weird. Uh, anyway, let's bring up our roll box again. See what the next thing's gonna be. Um, I clicked it and it's one again. I don't want to do another normal run. I want to do something fun. Pacifist run. Sure. We can make that happen. So the, uh, the rules for the pacifist run, uh, while we're waiting for matchmaking, and then further we'll be waiting in the lobby. Um, I can pick up armor, health stuff, and, uh, scopes, and nothing else. I, I cannot pick up anything that could conceivably cause damage to someone. I am allowed to pick up a gun, but not any ammo for it, so that I can have a scope and use that as a kind of binocular. But, again, no ammo, cannot fire it, not allowed. And can't hit people with the car. We're just gonna see how far we can get uh, killing absolutely no one. There's pretty good space to do it in, too. Um, hello. I'm selling these fine leather jackets. Excuse me. Everything's broken, people are falling to the ground. What do we need to do? Ragdoll corpses. Print it, get this person a medal. Now, the person who got a medal is the one that said battle pass. Uh... The thing is, I really like this gameplay. There are places that are doing it better, which is the reason that we are uh, winding down with PUBG. Um, that's something I have another 25 seconds to talk about. So, we've been doing PUBG bi-weekly. Um, we're not doing that anymore. This is the last one of those. Uh, after I finish this stream, uh, every Monday it's going to be Chroma Squad. Uh, we're just going to keep on chaining Chroma Squad until I've actually finished it, because it's been a month and a half, and I'm not halfway through that game. And then, once I'm done with Chroma Squad, we'll come back for one finale episode of PUBG. Uh, I will have a fun thing to show you, we'll run some games, we'll have some laughs, and then I'll probably never play PUBG again. It started out as a game with a lot of promise, and then they took their promise and ran in the monetization direction, as opposed to the tight game with useful netcode direction. Or, or yet the, uh, ban all cheaters, uh, make sure they don't ruin your fucking play experience direction. Now, instead of that, $200 skirts. Uh, I'm not quite certain what we're aiming for right now. I would like to get a truck of some description. Ooh, speaking of, is that one right down there? Or is that a bush? I think it's a bush. Yeah, exactly. Who needs that? We have tons of money. Oh, there's a long truck over there. We're going to grab that long truck. Uh, is there anyone, like, behind me or near me? I thought I saw someone dropping close to where I was, but I'm not seeing him now. Let's just grab and go, yogurt. This is... Nope. Front seat, please. Thank you. 
Everyone say hi to Yolanda. Uh, Yolanda's pretty thick. Uh, but that's good. Uh, as a as a pacifist run, we need a lot of armor, and Yolanda's Yolanda protect. Nothing's getting through this. This is basically a tank. That's a good name, I know, right? That's all I'm about, is giving uh, various types of trucks good names. I'm like Adam in the Book of Genesis, just going around naming everything I see. Come on, you can do it. Let's just spacewalk our way up. Give yourself a little extra purchase. There we go. Where's the zone? No, it's not too far. On the other hand, like, that's exactly where the plane uh, trail was, was right through there. So we are going to be dealing with uh, some people, which I'm not very happy about. People uh, usually have guns in this game, and the guns can hurt me. Well, as a matter of fact, let's take some time out to... Uh, Here's this little town out by itself. Let's loot you up. And see if we can't find some health kits or something. Nope. Nothing. Nothing. Uh, how about over here? Jump in through the window. Got some body armor. That'll, that'll stop if, you know, a bullet maybe. Unfortunately, unfortunately, I think they have more bullets. Oh, a 6x scope. We'll take that. We'll take the crossbow, too. Yeah, there we go. Because crossbows aren't useful even when they do have ammunition. So now... We've got ourselves a way to see. Try and uh, make ourselves a little more survivable. Anything in here? No, nothing interesting. Could use some more health, to be honest with you. Where did Yolanda go? YOLO! Oh, I parked you around the back so that people wouldn't see you if I, uh... If they came by. Right. Maybe that's sort of mean. I shouldn't be, like, ashamed of people seeing Yolanda, you know. She's thick, but she's, uh, she's a good girl. Let's just make our way down this mountain. Nice, nice and slow. Not the, not the most agile, maybe a little prone to flipping, but... Yolanda came to play. So, uh, I'm, I'm looking at my, uh, my screen preview, and I understand that you are seeing, uh, the, the game look a little choppy. It looks like that for me, too. Like, that's just how this game looks now, which is part of the reason we're leaving it behind. Uh, there's not a lot I could do about that. I could turn down the graphic settings even more. But I don't think it would make that much of a difference. It's, they're already quite low. Hey, music's come back. Because my lovely wife is done taking out the dogs. That's kind of what you figured, yeah. Yolanda's good, just makes her being fixed, just makes her sturdy and resilient. Exactly, you get it. Yolanda is very capable. Um, and what she 
she's capable of doing is taking us all the way to the north of this zone. So we can stay as far away as we fucking fucking people as possible. The thing about it is I think other people also will have dropped relatively far away from the circle, which means they're all going to be coming inward. Uh, not too happy about that. It makes me think that people are going to be sneaking up on us like we got snuck up on last round. Oh, hey, how about it? See? There's Yolanda. Absolute, absolute maven. Tank lady Yolanda. Okay, that's sub -op. Thick truck. Maybe mean what I think it means. That's like a like a brood mother, right? Or am I thinking of something else? Come on, Yolanda. Let's take this popsicle stand and do the move. That was that time I drank a glass of soy sauce, and tried to pilot Yolanda across the desert. Yolanda, it's not the most, she's not the most well-known Homestar Runner character, but she's on the page. You can go check it out if you want. Dang, that's a lot of popcorn we're running right for. Um, I don't like that much. Yep. Uh-huh. Nah, take your shots. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna tank. A tank named Yolanda. Someone write that down. That's the name of my musical. Ah, uh, there's a much faster truck. Yep. We're just gonna blaze right through this joint. Um. Come on. Come on. Get around the corner. There we go. Cut it perfect. This is my mech, Yolanda. I did almost drift. There's a... Oh, I like stand better. This is my stand, Yolanda Platinum. So, check me on this. Does Yolanda's license plate say Phaeton? TH83 standing in for an EN? Is that a thing that's happening? It makes me feel awkward. We're, we're all the way out here. I, I did actually eat rather a lot of damage. And wait for Jafar to catch up with us while we chew on some bandages. I can't read it. I'll uh. Well, here we're we're out anyway. Let me have a look. It is a bit fuzzy, but that's probably because of the. Uh, I think I do think it's T H eight three N. The only one people seem to have noticed online is F to honk. Well, yeah, but that's just a good joke. Um, y Yolanda, listen, I'm not, I'm not here to shame you, but you do seem to be intersecting with this bush. You do seem to have an entire bush inside you. 
Listen, I'm not against a girl with a bush. What all I'm saying is that I think that maybe you should have a collider on. I don't mean collider, do I? Because a collider would mean she would bounce off. Um, Yolanda and Bush OTP. That's my, that's my cannon ship. So blessed. Um, okay. Good jump. Nope, better jump. Nope, still good jump. Good jump. We got there. It's like... What? No, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna spend this whole time, uh bitching about the ways I don't like PUBG. I'm gonna have fun with it while it lasts and then I'm gonna say goodbye. But Yolanda needs to take us in, because, well, we don't have to go that far. We have two minutes to get, like, 20 feet. I think we're fine. Oh no, you spilled your tomato juice on the camera. OTP is on time performance. Right, but it also stands for original true pairing. Or one true pairing? One true pairing. It does work on multiple levels. Yolanda is pretty on time performance. She's a... Uh, she's a fresh pie. She's now. That's a joke for no one. Yeah, exactly. Cue the warrant. Bah, bah. She's my custard pie. Uh. Got nothing else. Could not think of a fucking rhyme for pie. Wow. I'm shit at improv. Oh, she's my custard pie. Four solid wheels makes a sweet drive by. Gasoline fumes bring a tear to your eye, sweet custard pie. There we go. Um, almost did it. All right, we're gonna we're gonna stop in here real quick. And yeah, I just need a little bit of priming. That's all. Thank you. I love and respect you. We're gonna see if we can't find Yolanda some food, cause she is, uh, looking thirsty. Um, there's a lot of empty doors, or open doors, which means people have been through here. Which I am not happy about. They left bandages for whatever reason, so I'm gonna take that. Not finding any truck food, though. Truck food looks like it's all gone. Uh, did I go upstairs here? I don't think I did. Uh, nope. How about outside? Uh, sawn off and some other ottomans that I don't need. Police vest. Oh, let's take a full police vest rather than the slightly damaged one we have. Um, that that's a level three vest. That's a level three vest. Please and thank you. It's when we're not firing a shot, we need all of the protection we can grab our hands on. Ooh, speaking of, got a first aid kit. Does first aid kit heal past the? Yeah, no, it heals to seventy-five. It doesn't heal past seventy-five. Okay. So we'll just eat one of the bandages and uh, see if we can't find some painkillers somewhere. One last hut over here. Which has also been gone through and there's no way they wouldn't have taken it yet. That's how that happened. 
Uh, let's take Yolanda down there to that other set of houses and see if there's anything useful. We do need some truck food. It's not, um... Uh, it's not Shelly levels yet, but... We do need some truck food. I went back and I watched that stream uh, where we met uh, Shelly, the topless truck. And, wow, that was really depressing. To just watch a car slowly starve. You also need to... I don't need to reload. I don't have anything to load. We're pacifists. Yeah, I, I appreciate it. I appreciate you having a good lookout, but uh, we're not shooting things this run. Reload on uh, ve vegetables. I think this smoke grenade, I guess. In case we need to, you know, spirit bomb away. Don't forget to flap your arms. Like those, like those rowdy Duke boys. Ah, fuck. Hmm, that doesn't look good. So we can go up to Minas Generalis. There's absolutely going to be people there. We can try and hide in La Bendita. But there's super duper going to be people in there. But that doesn't matter because there's someone right here. And I'm just going to try and let them go. Away. Which they have not done. They've stopped, like, right there. So, we're gonna... Run. Yep. Uh-huh. How you doing? Good Christmas? Yep. Uh-huh. And your family. Yes. Yep. They did finally put in an animation for a weapon up against the wall, which is good. Rather than, like, letting the the model kind of clip through the wall to the point where you could, like, look through the wall if you were scoped. They, they fixed that a couple patches ago, but it was a thing for, for a hot minute. Warning, incoming truck. Warning, incoming truck. And suddenly Bob's wearing a, a cap with a flat brim and has a pack of no-dos in his inventory. What's this game even about? Well... Oh my god, this would be brutal for Reboot, wouldn't it? Like, oh no, I guess it wouldn't because they're all live players. There's not like AI. So, I almost terrified myself with the idea that the other people in this game are like Reboot AI constructs. It's like, oh my god, that's so many people dead. So many, but no, it's, it's all live players. It's, it's fine. I don't need to put myself into panic about that thing. I'm sure my brain will find something else. I'm hearing shots over there, so let's not go that way. Um, do we just want to go south? Yeah, let's just run the whole thing and uh, come back in from the south. stream has been going for an hour 45 without a DC, which is correct. Or an hour 8. You gonna toot again? Okay. Yep. Uh-huh. Those are cool guns you got, bro. What good are they doing you? What good are they doing you out there in Jafar's welcoming embrace? Hey, bro. 
Right, so... Yolanda's almost out of food. Like, she, her her power is, is running low, so... Also, the zone is getting quite small. So, we're gonna find a place to park her where she's gonna just be alright. And then we're gonna walk the rest of the way and I do want to say, uh, of the trucks we've had recently, uh, Yolanda the Long Truck has been best girl, has taken so much, uh, so much bullets for us. This was a great pacifist run because of her. She is deep protect. We thank her for her service. Mm. Okay. We're just gonna come in. La Bendita, is that a good idea? Yeah, she's gonna. We're just gonna park Yolanda. Um, right here, I guess. This is how a truck ends. Not with a bang, but with a hillside. A Firefox crashed on me. She is still trucking. Uh, but she, uh, she ran out of go, uh, a little bit ago, which is unfortunate. No, she did very well. She protected us very well for, uh, the last five, ten minutes. She was a very good truck. Press up to pay respects to Yolanda. We're just gonna... We prone here? Are there people coming in behind us? I don't think so. Know, it looks like it. People out of the ranchero out there. Nah. Uh, if people were in these houses, they would have to come out because, you know, the zone. Ah, uh, fuck, that's gonna be a long run, isn't it? Mm, it's not great. It's not great, and it's like all over open ground. Which I'm not happy about. Oop. Sure. <laughs> Whatever. I don't need you and your stupid bullshit. Um... Hmm, this was, uh, incorrect. There's people behind us, there's trucks off to our left. Uh, we're top 16, though, and I'm hearing a lot of fighting happening around me. If I can make it to top 10, I think that's going to be a very useful result. We're just going to drop down right here. Yeah, that's good. Just right there in the darkness. And we're as safe as we can make ourselves, I think. Just gotta keep a rowdy eye out. It is some very good heel juice. We are going to remain calm. There's only two other people. There's Well, there's 11 other people alive. But only two more need to die so that we can make top 10. And I think that's doable. I think that whoever shot at us a moment ago is going to come down this hill. Oh, one more. Yep, there they are. No, not today. Come on, one more. One more person. Yeah. I'm gonna juke. Can't hit me. I'm juking too hard. Oh yeah, look at this shit. Look at this shit and fuck you.
Are they still over there or did they get murdered? I think they're still over there. Yeah, they're coming in. They're trying to get a bead on me, but it doesn't exist. That's not an angle they can hit me from. Yeah, they must be alligators. I'm zigging and zagging all over this point. This joint. Everyone else is dying now. We are, uh... We are top... in six. Yep. There we go. Good old smoke grenades. It's gone in a flash. Oh, come on. Come on, top five for me. One more needs to die. Oh, uh, those are some, those are some sniper shots. My name is Barry Allen and I am the fastest man alive. Excuse me, taking this truck. Have a good day. All right, so, uh, here we are with Zemos, named after the, uh, the, the Saints Row 3 character. Zemos and his stable are working for the Saints now. Yep. Yeah, you go ahead and take those shots, I don't care. Zemos is walking protection. Hey B, how you doing? Oh yeah, this is gonna, this is gonna lose. I'm gonna lose right here. Yeah, there it is. Top four though. Top five, we were the fourth. Ritzvi, no, move. Ritzvi, move. Go. Dog's over here trying to like lay on all of my electronics. Made top five on a pacifist run. That's very good. Also again, uh, you're on your phone and you have shitty ass reception, so you're on audio only mode. Uh, that's fine, I'm happy that you chose to hang out with us at all. I will try and uh, narrate the situation as best we can. Wow, that was a heck of a run, huh? Doing okay, back hurts way more than usual. I am sorry to hear that. Yes, exactly. Okay, so there's lots of green and brown and some smoke. That's just kind of PUBG. I had one, one of these drinks. It's not World War II, it's just a hundred assholes having a punch-up in a desert. That's not quite the same thing. It is a hyper-realistic combat sim, TM. Oh, I forgot to uh, check our rules, so let's do that. Let's bring up our good- nope. Bring up our good old friend the roll box and see what we're gonna be doing. Five, so Nuzlocke challenge? Sure. I haven't done one of these in a while. That's going to be interesting. Uh, so a Nuzlocke challenge. If you've seen uh, other, if you've seen other games in which Nuzlocke challenges are a thing, perhaps you will be familiar with the concept. Um, we can go into houses. We can pick up any, but if we go into a house or anywhere where we know loot is going to be. We have to pick up every single thing that we find there, and that's our new loadout. If we pick up, like, weapon mods, we can put them on guns, but once they're on a gun, they stay with the gun. So if we have to drop the gun, we lose those mods too. Um, there are Dark Souls players who do this, uh, there's a bunch of different, like, uh, randomizer elements. Yeah, if you run out of ammo, you trash the gun. 
it's, and uh, just because I think it's funny, we pick up literally every single uh, every single piece of clothing we find. It originated with Pokemon. I didn't know that, but I guess that makes sense. We're on the new uh, jungle map too, so that's interesting. Can Nuzlocke be the name of my newly discovered species of otters and water ferrets because it's a cute sounding name? It is a very cute sounding name. It kind of doesn't deserve this hellscape we're about to put it through, but, uh, you know. Them's the brakes. Bon voyage, Charlie Brown. Uh, so we are, we are jumping ourselves in. Yeah, that's smaller. I was really prepared to sail a long way, but no, that's, uh, we don't need to sail too far. So I don't know where the hot spots are on this map, given that it's only the second time I have played on it. I presume that it's going to be like boot camp and quarry and, you know, the, the places that have names, right? I don't think people are going to be aiming for this little piddly set of houses near the far north of the map. I could be wrong. Alright, well, let's open our first loot box and get some painkillers. That's good. And more painkillers. And a crowbar. Oh. Oh. Very Gordon Freeman. I've had this game concept banging around in my head all day. It's an FPS, except you can't reload your gun. And all your enemies drop guns, so it encourages variety in gunplay. An aggressive play... playing combined with precise control. That sounds bad. That, uh, doesn't sound bad. There's a game like that, but it's not coming to mind. I, uh... I can't think of what it would be. Oh, here's a UMP, too. We actually got a really good setup. I wonder if the, uh... I wonder if the... Jungle map has just, like, better drops generically to make up for the fact that it's kind of, uh... that it's smaller and that everything moves much quicker, which would make sense. So, um, I'm sorry, I just bumped the mic. I'm sorry if that injured you or your ears. We got ourselves a pretty good loadout. Uh, what's that game Andy played like a month ago with a cute gay couple? You're thinking of Uncharted the side story that I can't remember the subtitle of, but it's an Uncharted game. We have a pretty good series of guns. I would really like a better chest protector, and I need any helmet. So... I guess we're gonna risk jumping into one of these houses just to see what happens. See if we can't get something. Let's start here. I don't think that there will be uh, weapons on the, on the thing. Ooh, there is a helmet. A half grip and a police vest I don't need. Uh, I'd hate the half grip anyway, so if we lose the half grip, it's a win. Um, I can see there's a scythe up there. I don't necessarily want to grab that scythe. I know Andy was impressed with how you need to switch weapons a lot, so I just really want to expand on that concept with arena-like level design and enemies designer of the concept. Yeah. I- what? Okay. Okay. Alright. Okay, so that's a loot drop out there. Way the hell away from where everyone is. Oh, and there's a water truck.
Didn't Super Hot do that? Yeah, Super Hot did do that. Yeah, it wasn't the main mechanic. The main mechanic was uh, time moves when you move. It does sound like a good idea. I'm not a, uh, a programmer by any means. I uh, took four days to create the simple one to six roll box that I've been using. And uh, I don't have the patience to do much more, I don't think. So we're about to lose some stuff, but we're gonna grab this loot crate right here with just whatever we've got. Okay, so level three military vest, level three backpack, level three helmet, good. We have a Groza, which we're gonna switch out from the M16 and 762, because that's the ammo it takes. And we have a ghillie suit now. So that's fun. Uh, you know, as Nuzlocke challenges go, I don't think we need to go in another house. Because, holy damn, we just got set up. I am a bush now. It's wonderful. Think of how much political power I have. I've never noticed the uh, animation for the parachute before, so it just blinks out of existence. Ooh, man, everyone wants a piece of this jelly, huh? I just made myself a very tasty target. Uh-huh. Now keep on shooting. See how it goes for you. Oh crap, I can't take shelter, can I? Because if I take shelter, I'm going to have to drop some of this shit. Um, that's fun. I suppose I have learned that lesson. I'm just going to stay behind. Somewhere. Hmm. So here's the one, here's the one thing we don't have is a scope. You're, you're correct, Zach. I don't have to take shelter among the grass. My new family. My adopted children. Uh, I don't even have to move very far to still be in zone, so... Let's not move very far and still be in zone. I think we get to here? Yeah, look at that. We invite you now to watch this instructional video on how not to be seen. The suit is a totally different color from the grass on the map, but when you're hiding inside of a bush, I think it's fine. I would like to scoot over just a little bit. Just a little bit. I think we're pretty solid right here. Oh, we're also like not in the zone, so that's a problem. Um, what I know so far is that we're being shot at and also disguised at a bush, as a bush. No, yeah, you got it. Uh, we found a loot crate. It had some very good guns and all of the best protection in it. Uh, and also a ghillie suit. I presume you know what a ghillie suit is. And we are hiding in bushes so that we don't get murdered. But if we, if someone does try and come murder us, I think it's going to be fine. Yeah, you mostly got it. How much longer are you on uh, vacation for, B? Since I'm made of meat and hiding in a forest, the song Forest by Burger AX is perfect. I agree. Oh god, Loot Crates flashes back to the internet arguing about Loot Crates. I mean, so you don't buy this kind of Loot Crate, they just drop every uh, couple of minutes from the sky. And I was very fortunate that one dropped directly near me. 
I think that people should still be arguing about loot crates. Um, I think they're not a great monetization scheme. I think maybe you should just uh, let me pay the price for the damn game. You know? Maybe just do that. This game does have overpriced loot boxes that uh, contain uh, clothing, like in-game clothing and weapon skins. I, I got some earlier today when I was uh, just going through my inventory, and I sold them on the Steam Marketplace, so now I have a dollar in Steam money. If a ghillie suit is colored like steel and charcoal, is it a grilly suit? No, a grilly suit's brown with, like, hash marks all over it. Think. Think, McFly, think. How's it gonna look if you and I turn in, if I turn in my homework in your handwriting? I think we need to stop arguing about loot crates and start arguing about genre names and why we need more mods in modern games. Those things are also not bad things to think about. Um... There are things that, uh... I think talking about the way that we pay for video games is important because it's a huge gating mechanism. And also the way that developers pay for games, which is to say they put in as little work as possible. want to charge for a service that they're not actually providing. Of which PUBG, by the way, is a stunning example. Like, this is everything that's wrong with this, right? It's, they made a game, and then it had a lot of promise, and they were like, we're gonna fix all the things that are wrong with it. And then instead of that, they brought out, like, crates that you had to buy keys for, a la Team Fortress 2. And, uh battle passes and shit, and I can still go to places on the desert map and see where they haven't fixed the fucking haystacks that float in the air. And it's like, come the fuck on. Do, do the work. Don't just do the thing that's gonna make the money. All games are Doom clones, I absolutely agree. Every game is, you know, basically just a more or less sophisticated version of Doom. Half-Life is, it's exactly like Doom, only you're uh, a scientist instead of a, instead of a marine guy, you know. Braid, it's exactly like Doom, except you see it from the side, and instead of uh, demons, you fight puzzles. All games are Doom clone except Doom, which is a Wolfenstein 3D clone. That's very good. I'm hearing some shots out in the distance, but I think we're, uh, we're pretty alone. She says 40 seconds before dying in the face. Right, it's the puzzle game where you fight puzzles until they tell you the answers. I actually really want to make that game now and call it Brute Force Solution. I'm very happy with that joke. Please tell me the gunfire is in-game. Yes, the gunfire is in-game. We, uh, where there are things being shot around us, you're going to hear a lot of gunfire. If you're not okay with gunfire, then maybe... Then it's okay to not be in this stream. That, that's fine. But you should know that it is all in game and it's it's all safe. Uh, and there's not anything gonna come for you, I don't think. 
again, if it's still a problem for you, take care of yourself first. I'll start, uh... I'll start mentioning when I hear, uh... Some... Louder pops. So it'll give you a bit of a grounding. This is fantastic sneaking music, yeah. This is what, uh... Like, this is exactly what Snake had in his, uh... Fake iPod in Metal Gear Solid 4. What the hell was the name of that thing? It had like a... It had like a name that also was an iPod. Oh. Someone thinks they're very fancy in a truck out there. Uh-huh. Just keep honking away, friend. Oh no, you're coming this way. No, I think they're just daring someone to fight them. I'm not into that. We are, we are very well protected, but I absolutely lose against a car. Metal Gear Solid 4 was an actual branded iPod, really? I thought it was running like Otacon OS or something like that. Gonna sneak in. Mmm, tastes like branding. Now, Snake, this is a sneaking mission. So make sure you can't hear anything that's going on around you by putting these iPod earbuds into your ear space. That's probably a great idea. Ooh. shot at me and then uh, they missed so that's good I'm just gonna stay out here because again as much as I want to go into this cool temple looking place and see what's inside I don't want to lose all of my guns I don't even have to move that far to stay in the, the rapidly closing zone uh, we got 30 seconds to crawl in a little bit. Now there's only 17 people still alive. So that's also good. Of which I am one, so 16 other people. Haha! <laughs> Have a good Christmas. Oh, I can't, uh, break open here. If I break into your thing, I'm gonna have to take your guns. I don't want that, but fuck, I need this. Uh, I need more ammo. Oh, it's okay, I'm dead. I don't have to worry about that anymore. So, got the top 15. Managed to kill a guy. Sony Walkman, except it uses UMDs, like a PSP. PSP was hella fragile too. I used to have one with uh, with a Darth Vader on it, and that thing just wasn't good. Uh, I hope they're uh, very happy with the, all of the things they just stole from my body. Let's go back to the lobby and roll our next uh, roll our next game. The Jackal. That's gonna be fun. I'm glad.
glad I'm getting a bunch of different stuff. I, I didn't want to repeat things too much. I like how easily exploitable the PSP was, even if it wasn't everything it wasn't meant to do was amazing. Yeah, and then there was UMDs. Alright, so, uh... I call this run the Jackal. I call it that because Jackals are scavengers. Uh, I am only allowed to pick up weapons that I find on other people. Armor and shit's fine, but I have to remove guns from corpses. Preferably ones I make, although if I just happen to run across a, a you know, corpse lying in the field, I'm not too good to take that. Now people are just all wooing all in the chat, which is great. I'm not an all wooer myself, but I appreciate it in other people. Get out of here, get out of here. Invitational Mongo. No one likes you. Let's go for Mongai over here. Or Mongai, I guess. So this is clearly supposed to be like a Vietnam analog, right? I don't know, uh, I don't know what these names mean off the top of my head, but... Mogwai, have I been playing your LEGO games? No, I haven't been playing your LEGO games. There's just all of these names out here. In, uh language I'm not familiar with. I'm having some trouble reading them. The Lugamagwai is adorable. Um, what was the build that came with Gizmo? I've forgotten already. Oh no, it was the RC car. It was the wonderful little RC car. The one that Spike rode around in at the end of the, uh, at the end of the first movie. Do you think they're ever going to do a Gremlins 3 or not? Nah? Uh, the RC car that has the town skin that matches your wave racer, yeah. Uh, so, we had some people just drop in, and we're very happy to see you. Let me tell you what's going on right now. Uh, this is a scavenger run. I can only take weapons off of corpses, preferably ones I create, but I'm not too good to take guns off of corpses I, I find in the world. Um, I'm not certain how far I'm going to get in this. It is the new map, uh, which is smaller, so that's good. I won't have that much m competition. Should I just pick up... Uh, should I pick up ammo and stuff? No, I should keep... I should keep my uh, inventory space clear until I run into someone. I would love a car. Oh! Speak of the devil, look at that. That's a pleasant little half truck. I think. Oh, you're not going to screw me, are you? No, it's, it's good. It doesn't have that nasty sidecar. Side truck, yes, thank you, I'm sorry. So everybody, this is Alphonse. With any luck, me and Alphonse are gonna introduce someone to, uh, to the new stage of history. I'm not certain what that means. The truck cods are usually generous. That's, uh, <coughs> that's why we're, that's why, uh, our god is Optimus Prime. Me. 
Come on. I'll find you. Don't think I won't. I'm going to introduce you to the front of this vehicle right now. Welcome back to the stage of Wolfville. Let's face it, it's all about Wolfville. The entire Soul Calibur series is nothing without Waldo. I don't know, I'm fine with that. Is exactly, come fight me and my truck son. Ooh, can I pick up a loot crate? Or is that cheating? What's the what's the audience consensus on that? Because there's one available. I can make it go. No, I have to kill someone for it. Okay. What if I get there and I kill someone over it? Does that count? You have to murder someone there at the drop. Okay. Let's go to the drop and see what happens. I think I lost track of where it is, though. Oh, no, there it is. Let's slow down a little bit, make sure we can see where people are coming from. Except they're not. I guess we just stay back here. Wait for someone to come along. Ooh, hi! Oh, you came to play. straight up a tree. Nope! Darn it! Uh, nope. Ow! Oh, yep. That was gonna happen. I was like, I'm juking pretty well, but the second I stay in a straight line, they're gonna take my head just smooth off. And sure enough, Yeah, well, I didn't expect that run to last very long, to be honest with you. I maybe should have gone for a different vehicle than the, than the half truck, but yeah, I didn't, I didn't want to abandon, I didn't want to abandon Alphonse just because, you know, he wasn't what I wanted. <laughs> Squirrel 12 jukes. Someday. Someday we'll have real emotes. Not that our emote isn't real and also lovely, but like a lot more emotes. A bevy of emotes to use in a variety of situations. Hello there. You seem to be from the prison. Would you care for a... Tasty pickle. How does... Does that... Oh, there we go. Uh, does Twitch limit the amount of emojis you get? Yeah, um... You get one per tier as an affiliate. Uh, if we get made partner, which is... Something that we would like to do very much but uh, it kind of relies on us getting more people to subscribe to the channel then we would be able to get more we're building it that's uh you know we want to build a community here i love 
doing this. I know Katie does too, Alice. We all love, uh, we all love streaming for y'all. It's so much fucking fun. Streaming is great. Meeting new friends is awesome. And, uh, frankly, screaming bullshit while I play video games is what I would be doing anyway. So, it's really a win-win. We did, well, we don't gotta hit 75 people for an average audience. There's other ways to become a partner, but that's a useful metric for them. I didn't, um... Uh, I didn't bring up the roll box to, uh... And bring up the roll box to see what we're going to be doing here. So, we're going to turn this into a lightning round. Do the jackal again? No, okay. No, no, no. Uh, I'm fine doing the... I'm fine trying the jackal again. I'm... Really would need a... A vehicle right quick. It's pronounced Jekyll. Please and thank. Someone's coming over here. Someone stopped just out of the distance. Hello there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, did. I don't know what I thought was going to happen. I mean, I do. I thought I was going to, like, get in, like, the other side of their car, right? <laughs> I thought I was going to get in the back seat, like, jump over them and then hit F and grab the back seat and let them carry me to wherever they were going to go. Yeah, that's not how that happened. We're, we're gonna we're gonna jackal again because uh, apparently that's popular <laughs> we're gonna give it one more go jackal runs are usually the shortest to be honest because it requires you creating a corpse from nothing I've had some success doing it but it's the the one that's most dependent on early game happening. Exactly. All I wanted to do was tailgate. Some people just can't fucking uh, be cool. Yeah, I just wanted to sketch on the back of their skeleton truck. I don't. I don't understand what all of this hostility is about. Uh. Anyway, here's me and you. It's, uh... It's sunset, too. I haven't seen this map in a good long while. Am I gonna be able to... Yeah, the counter hasn't even started. Let's get out here and have a good look at the sun going down. Ah. This beautiful, pristine land to be covered with the blood of 92, or I suppose 91, horrible assholes, 92 horrible assholes. Oh come on man, let me sketch on you, stop being such a prude. Listen, that's not cool. If someone's not okay with you sketching on them, you shouldn't sketch on them. In continuous, enthusiastic consent, it's important. That's, uh, that's something we constantly push here on the channel because I do make a good amount of sex jokes. It's important that it's consensual. Hey, baby. Speaking of consensual, I just got a kiss from my lovely wife. I bet you're all a bunch of jealous suckers out there. 
Uh, what in hell are we gonna do? Uh, we're gonna try for a, a truck. I think there's the best place to drop to if that's what we're doing. Uh, just outside of my well-appointed villa. Because, uh, trucks often spawn just outside of there. So we're just gonna slant right for that. Yeah, I know, it's shocking. We might get racing and hold hands later. I should not do 4chan memes anymore. Yeah, that's not a that's not a fantastic beast or where to find it. So I'm moving down there and I'm not really seeing I'm not really seeing any trucks. I am seeing where there are motherfuckers. And I don't want to deal with the motherfuckers either, so let's keep moving west. And I keep, like, slanting on the, on the parachute, and I don't know why, that's actually very, is the holding hands thing a meme? Yeah, the, like, oh, holding hands, what kind of deviant are you? As far as I'm aware, that's, uh, that's a thing that came out of 4chan, like, very long ago, before it became the monster that it is currently, but the seeds were there. Anyway... We're gonna, we're gonna leave that alone. <laughs> uh, Vinny of Vine Sauce made reference to some old Chan memes in his audience kind of shushed him, yeah. Like, I'm not saying you're a bad person if you think that's a funny joke. It's actually, like, not a bad joke. It's just that it's become, like, a kind of cultural signifier for culture, right? don't like very much. I try not to say that people are bad people inherently, you know, I uh, hate the hate the sin, not the sinner. But I am afraid of dying myself and uh, feel that there's a lot of things out there that can make me die. Yeah, Vinny is a guy with 3,000 to 15,000 people in his chat at any given time. Which I guess uh, goes towards... Like... Not to heap praise on someone who... Like, it's not that he doesn't deserve praise, it's just he's so much bigger than us and it kind of doesn't... You know, us mentioning him doesn't rate for him at all. But he's... Uh, actually put together quite a good community and I presume has some heroic fucking mods. Because it's not quite like GDQ numbers where you're struggling just to keep people in line. But it's still a lot to deal with. Oh, hey, here we go. It's a nice... Nice even half truck. People like up, us hosting him almost brought him to tears on stream, so I think we... Do you think we rank somewhere with him? No. Oh. Okay. Oh, is that a... No. I would like a... I would like a bigger truck, please. Don't get me wrong, uh, I think that Barabbas here is, uh, is a wonderful companion, but I actually do need for this run something a little bit more powerful. I need something thicker. Something that if I try to introduce someone to the front of, they won't like shoot me. Exactly, a thick truck. Of 
unfortunately, the, uh, the half truck can very likely take us up and down these beautiful plants and find us a new truck. Here we go. Wonderful. Barabbas, you have, uh, you've served us well. We appreciate you. You are not what we need right now. So here's Chuck. He's, he's not the hero we want right now. He's, he's not the hero we need. He might be the hero we deserve, but what we have now is Chuck. Skeleton truck, skeleton truck. Made out of metal, looks like a truck. That's a, that's actually awesome for you. That's a good fan. Shock of the truck. All right, now all I need to do is find someone with a gun and then run them over and steal their gun. I think this is very doable. You know, in theory. Um, where's the zone at? Actually, can we just go back over to where we started and find those two people who dropped in my beautiful appointed villa and uh, have a a bit of a talk with them. A bit of a vehicular manslaughter talk. They've been a comedy rock band for over 90 years now. They're the best in the biz. So, uh, no, that's not, that's not good. That's not good to do. I was about to do a thing. That was a good thing. I'm sorry. Um, so, uh, Jordan, uh, one of the members of Axis was Awesome, came out as trans recently. And I was about to make the joke that, uh, they've been around so long that Jordan reincarnated into a woman. That's incorrect. That is an incorrect way to view that. Because trans women are always women, this is something I this is something I have uniquely boys to talk about. Yeah, Mr. Rogers said as much. And that's Fred Rogers. Do you think Fred Rogers would lie to you? He's not capable. Chuck has the cutest little horn. Hey, everybody. Wanna come play? Yeah, you're correct. He was capable of flying. He just didn't. Which is, you know, even more powerful. <laughs> Find me. But my truck beats your gun. It's bigger. I'm gonna crash through there. I'm gonna get hung up on some lag. That's good. I'll tell you what, let's do real scavenging. Like, where's the hotspots gonna be? Pollyanna, I guess? Maybe we could swoop around back to Pollyanna and see if people have died and steal their things. It's a little too hard to comb through, though. It's a big place. There's a lot of... There's a lot of things. 
Yep. Someone's taking some shots. Where were you at? What's the red zone? This is the red zone. It's the place where all the explosions happen. Oh. Someone had a, uh, a fiery misadventure. Let's see if they had anything on them. Uh, you cannot get in destroy Dacia. Um, and it doesn't look like they... Ah, okay, sure. Would love to know where those shots are coming from. So, coming from the, are they coming from up the hill? Nah. Yeah, they must be coming from the mansion, which means that we're never going to be able to get to them. found a hotbed though. Yes, the red zone is a lad to Mars horrible friend. Right, I uh I did not introduce that concept, did I? Uh we call the blue zone has a lot of different names. People call it a lot of different things. We call it Jafar because we are aware it is Jafar, and we understand it is not ideal. That's a, that's a quick poll article, I think, uh, which you should uh, which you should look up because it's incredible. It's just like a bunch of pictures of Jafar from Aladdin, with continually, with like increasingly sad uh, captions. Hey, come on. Come on, I want to show you my truck. Let's compare. Compare and contrast. Nah, you went over the hill, didn't you? I lost you. tried to Mad Max that son of a bitch. It was, uh, it didn't go super well. Do we have time for one more? We do have time for one more. Uh, let's bring up that roll box. And see what we're gonna do for this last one. Uh, let's get into another pacifist run, sure. If we were a partner, we would have a blue Jafar mode. Oh gosh, darn it. Screen capture. Display. Uh, why are you like this? Because I told you to be like that, and then I didn't tell you to be a different way. Yes, it certainly was Jafar. We regret to inform you. It was not ideal. Selling these fine leather jackets. 
I regretted clicking on it. Aww. It's very, it's very weird. Willfully and for no real reason. I'm just gonna do some side hops while I'm talking. It's the single greatest work of literature of the past 400 years. Uh... Great Expectations? Nop. Uh, Great Gatsby? Nop. Great, uh... I'm trying to think of a third book with great in the title. Garfield, Fattest and Greatest? Nah. Jafar. A, a click hole article with stock photos of a, of a lab. Great Muppet Caper, shit. That was the correct one. Darn it. Alright. What in hell did I say this was? This is a pacifist run? Yeah. So let's get let's get far. Let's get far away, and that will be our first priority. There's a mosquito that's decided it's living in this corner of the house. I can tell because I keep getting these itchy bumps all over my bu my exposed body. Not that all of my body is exposed. I am I am wearing clothes, but the parts that are that are exposed get bitten, and that sucks. I should probably eat sweets less. Isn't that supposed to? Uh, stop mosquitoes from coming in and trying to murder your face? Maybe you're stop, supposed to stop eating bananas? I actually don't know. It's gonna slide in. Parachute just disappears. I think it's specifically high potassium. I shouldn't have high potassium. Like, cause that's a, a bad thing to have when you are on HRT, which I'm not currently, but would aspire to be on again soon. Maybe I just have naturally high potassium? I don't know what the hell my body chemistry is like, which is kind of a problem. Adrenaline syringe, you say? Please and thank you. I'll also have the smoke grenade. There's lots of things that attract them. Yeah, well, they would, wouldn't they? It's just like, hey, what signals to us that blood is here? Grab this AK. We'll put the 6x scope on it. Grab the backpack too, I guess. Storage isn't really something that we need to deal with in a pacifist run, because we won't be carrying a lot, but... Yeah, well. What are you going to do? Have I been in this house yet? I don't think so, because it's the, the long house. Tony Stark is fucked because Tony Stark is just made of iron. I think that's, uh... Oh no, you've thought of a better one, have you? All that iron, comma, man. That's good, you did try. There was an attempt. having a sip of this, uh, this meme soda, which I'm finished with now. I should probably, I should also probably quit drinking soda. I'm trying to. I've got, like, sparkling water also hanging out in the fridge, which is a better alternative. I don't know how actually good it is, but it's better for you than, you know, this. Exactly, power juice. I need to stay awake over the course of the next, oh, 28 minutes or so. Um, and it's, uh, the, the constant dreaming is starting to wear on me. I should regiment breaks for myself. 
um, because this has been over two straight hours now. Exactly, so does power juice, water is life juice. Soda kind of refills your HP, uh, water refills your mana. side of it. That's really good. As a matter of fact, here's what we're going to do. Uh, I'm going to finish searching these houses, and then we're going to go play uh, my second favorite PUBG game, which is Go Be a Fucking Mermaid. Because there is a lot of that zone that's over open water, and I don't know, I'm feeling lucky. Exactly, we're gonna we're gonna do some sparkly merms. A a boat would be ideal for this purpose, but I think we're going to like that's over half that's not over half, but it's close to half of the zone on the right side there that's just open fucking sea. Oh, and there's a water truck. How wonderful. When it is Jafar, it is a circle that feeds upon your very life force. It is Jafar at the moment, and to reiterate, we are very sorry about this. Jafar isn't anywhere near me, man. He's all the way over there, all the way over there. Jafar doesn't even get, on the, get in the map on this side. Like, for another minute and a half. Take our new friend Darren, the water truck, and just pilot Darren all the way to the end of the earth. And then just live out there for a while. side of the world, you sure do. That's cool. So we're just gonna eat a painkiller real quick. Energy drink, I guess. And, uh, we're just gonna hang out here. We'll get in the, well, we'll get in the backseat of the boat. And, uh, Quick look at the coast. I think we're really fine out here. Like, we are, we're so far away from the coast that it stopped rendering it properly. Like, you can kind of see it through the, through the lens, but those are like child's drawings of houses. It's very low poly. Well, it's not just that it's low poly, it, also the textures are hot garbage. Uh, there used to be a problem with, uh, 
with PUBG where if you dropped in too quickly, then you got to the ground before the real textures have filled in, and it's like you're standing in the middle of a storybook, and not like a good storybook. Like a shitty storybook that you got on sale somewhere. Like, you know the kind of books you get? Uh, we were just at, like, Vintage Stock where this was going on, where they have books just outside as though to say please steal these we no longer want these in our possession like that uh, so y'all still having a good night out there I'm having a good night I love, I love doing this I love talking to you people. Don't have too much time before that, uh... Before that zone finally ends up closing. Can we see it from the other side? Like, moving in? Not really. Which I guess makes sense. The, like... It goes all the way to Rotsock. We'll, like, never be able to see that. We might be able to see it coming from this direction, but, uh, Not really, because it's all just sky. There's nothing to, uh... There's nothing to contrast it against. Having a good time watching these truck. No, I think the plural of truck is truck. I don't think we need to append an S on there. Exactly, yes, thank you. It's like Moose. Who have a gaggle of truck. Rider Sheep or, you know, Banker, any of those. Oh, can you see it yet? Yeah, you can see it a little bit out there. It's hard to tell because the, the aimer is really unsteady. I should actually probably stop that. That could be, uh, problem-inducing. You should get a whole bunch of jelly beans at Winco. Because Winco has cheap-ass jelly beam. Are we still in zone? I'm sorry. Yeah. So, this is a very, uh, uh, very calming final round, I think. There's 41 people alive. We're just, uh, chilling out here on our boat. They're running around killing each other like a bunch of dumbasses. We're just enjoying life out here on the sea. Ah, uh, yes. I saw many Bunky today. Oh, nope. Someone's got a hold of us. Yeah. Good for you. Uh-oh. Okay, that's a problem. So, we're uh, at an angle. The reason we're at an angle is because we're... Okay, there it goes. We were caught on the invisible wall. Uh, we were caught on the invisible wall and couldn't turn properly. So that's neat. said do good collision good collision I gotta put this battle royale game out on Steam now without this collision yeah I gotta come put these PUBGs on their streams without these collisions what you heard me Yeah, so we're just gonna, uh, have a nice swim, I think. Just float all the way around our, uh, our water truck. What did I name you? Davidson? It wasn't Davidson. Daryl, right. Strawberry. Just me and Daryl. 
Daryl hanging out here. Oop. I'm lapping you, Daryl. I'm gonna be honest with you, if this drops right near us. Hmm. So there has been a there has been a drop. Um I am really considering saying fuck the, fucking the pacifist run and just boating out there as hard as I can because I don't think anyone's going to reach it before me. No. No, I'm going to be a good girl and stick by my moral guns. Except not guns because I'm not shooting anyone today. I'm just going to have a fun little swim with my truck friend. important to, to stand by your goals, kids. Um, you know, sometimes in life you'll think, it'd be easier to give up. It'd be so much easier to give up, but you can't do that. Um, you gotta, you gotta keep on moving. Train doesn't have to stop. You can live your dreams. No, I don't, I also still won't change my name to Triple X, go collect the 420 Triple X. For a variety of reasons, not the least of which is that's terrible fucking branding and impossible to search for. What? No, these are fine. What? That's not my my goal. Isn't to get all the scopes. That's not the point. The point is that I'm out here not doing a shoot. You can do a shoot without having a billion scopes. I just like having a billion scopes so other people don't have any scopes. I'm hate drafting scopes. You're trying to get my goad and it's apparently working. I can feel you goading at me. Oh, is that why they call it goading? Because they're trying to get your goad. Is that a thing? Scope collected should be in the roll. Um, let me tell you, it took me way too long to program the roll box as it exists currently, and I'm only doing one more PUBG stream after this, so that's not changing at all. Roll to seven. Gotta go collect scopes. Nop. Not happening, friend. I am too fucking lazy. For not firing a shot, we are 31 alive. Personal goal, collect only scopes until you get a notice that says inventory is full. That actually wouldn't take that long. Uh, scopes take up a pretty good amount of inventory, and without a backpack, you can only carry like a few. Oh, with the level three backpack? Christ, no. I don't, I don't actually know how many, oh, we finally need to move in. I don't know how many scopes that would actually end up being. We're gonna leave uh, Daryl behind. We're just gonna swim in. Continue mermaiding. But that would be way too many fucking scopes. scopes than you require. Ooh, hey. We gotta look at the seafloor there for a second. That was cool. I wonder if it'll do it again when the wave comes in. Yeah. That's a cool little terrain map. I wonder if there's still off-center, like, foliage down there. No, you can't move it yourself and have it, uh, have it go like that. It has to be the natural movement of the wave, I guess. Yeah. Because if it detects you moving underneath the wave, then it... Yeah, there it is. Then it does its animation and turns just the whole thing blue. Can you scope it? I mean, I can. You can scope most things. I refuse to. I didn't. 
scope a single fish. Yeah, it's, uh, these places are really devoid of life, quite probably because there's a, a blue zone of mystical energy that flies in every uh, few minutes and kills everything that's caught outside of it. I think that's probably where all the fish went. Also the people, also the deer that would probably get on an island this size. Okay, please don't tempt me Satan with another drop. Really? Really? You're gonna do this? I think it would be hilarious if your name was Scope Collector 42 and 420 and someone killed you and found nothing but scopes. I mean, yeah, that's a cool experience for them. I'm, I'm not gonna get that. I'm not gonna get the... like, pay off of that. What the hell is they pull out 30 scopes? Maybe that's what I do. Maybe I wait and see who kills me, and then I search their name on Twitch, and if they're a streamer, I'll get that, uh, I'll get to see their live surprise at why the hell do you have nothing but a billion scopes? What is wrong with you? What was your aim? Apparently pretty good, because you had this many scopes. do it for a while and then people will start talking about me on the forums. <laughs> then I'll be stream scoping. Yes. Perfect. Chef kiss. Mwah. I don't think Kotaku would do an article. Or Kotaku might do an article because sometimes Kotaku doesn't have stuff to talk about that day. We're gonna sink down into the sea because That zone's closing in faster than we want it to. Oh, wow, they made your breath just, like, fall down, eh? Okay, so, again, don't have too much farther to go. We're fine here in the ocean. We just need to stay frosty. We're in the top 20. We've done nothing but go on a, on a pleasant swim. We'll let Doomsday Killer and Hot Dog Fart have all of the fun. We'll just take uh, we'll just take a top ten placement on uh, sheer stubbornness. I don't know. We're starting to get close enough to where people can theoretically see us from the from the shore proper. I'm most worried about this here, the, the kind of bluff ahead of us. Because, you know, elevation is, uh, elevation is ammunition. That's something I've just came up with. I don't think I'm going to keep it. It's kind of bad and doesn't actually mean the thing I'm trying to say. It's, uh, easier to see people when you're high up. Perhaps that news surprises you. But I'm afraid someone's gonna get up on that cliff and then just go, oop, well, uh, someone's swimming down there. Guess I'm gonna put a bullet through them. Yeah, I guess there's people over there. I have the high ground, Anakin. You can't win. Ooh. From my point of view, the Jedi are evil. Did you give shark costumes along with ghillie suits? I absolutely agree. Or like just literal mermaid tails? I would be up for that. Or, you know, merman tails. It doesn't. Or merm non binary tails. Also fine. And Jafar is just, uh, just creeping in. He's on that good old creep. I'm trying not to, uh... I'm trying not to hit tab. 
to bring up to my map, because that's what you do in Realm Royale. And then after that, I'm also trying to not hit J to bring up my map, which is what you do in Minecraft, or at least what I do in Minecraft. It's, it's M here. I don't know why this isn't a standard thing. Oh, that was a pretty good yawn. Hope you all enjoyed that yawn. Because it's never coming back again. Yawning's over. Forever. M and Tab are both pretty common. I mean, that makes sense, because M for map, which it helps to have one of. And then Tab's just one of the, like, easily reachable from last position keys. Take me home tonight. I think we get on the... Yeah, I think we get right alongside the cliff. Like in that little hollow right there. Because we can't be seen from the top of the cliff from there. And it would be challenging to see us from the shore until you get to like in the in town. And from there it would be quite difficult to aim. Bring back the yawn. We need yawns now more than ever. Listen, in this economy, sometimes you can't afford another yawn. It is like, uh, oh, there you go. Have a good time with that, friends. Uh, it is like 11 something. It's not like I don't ordinarily stay up later than this, but I, th I think I grinded a little too heavily. And I needed to take a break and relax my brain for a minute, but now I've kind of been going out full, full tilt boogie. That's something I've learned. We'll, we'll take a little bit better care of ourselves next stream. Oh, there's some more power for you, Zach. For right now. I don't know why I can't stop now. I don't ordinarily yawn this much in my day-to-day. -day. It's probably because I keep saying the word fucking yawn over and over again. The corpse keeps sending out union bust- oh, union busters. Got it. It took me a second. I, I, I didn't get to parse that. Oh, Ritzby and I are yawning back and forth. Ritzby. Stop yawning. Thank you. Oh, I said I, I did make the doge sad. I made the doge sad telling the doge to stop yawning. It's me. It's okay. It is okay, doge. It's fine. Wow, we, like, actually can't get up there, huh? Yeah, we're gonna have to go, like, all the way around, and then we're gonna be at the bottom of this hill. There's ten people alive. So... We, we, we did actually make top ten. Which I'm happy about. But it is going to be a challenge to get us actually into the zone. Top, top nine. Um, we have 30 seconds to get onto land. Do I have... I have two adrenaline syringes. I actually could just camp out in the fucking blue for a second. Yeah, today I learned pacifist runs ROP. Yeah, exactly. Because... You just... The map is so huge, you just stay the fuck away from other people. Okay, we have 10 seconds. I actually do need to get onto land. Um, play area is restricting. Um, gonna just get right up here and pop this syringe. Ooh, that's taking up just huge chunks of my health, huh? Oh no. Oh no, we didn't. We didn't make this. 
we don't have that. We're not uh, bringing up enough health to make that happen. Yeah, that's bad. They do make pro gamers super angry. Like, that's the reason it's taken, uh, like, a year and a half to have another big PUBG tournament is because the first tournament was, ro was won by this dude who just uh, did what I did, which was get a shit ton of health ups and then just stay out in the fucking blue zone forever. Yeah, you're right. If only we kept Daryl, we could have made it in. But Daryl would have been too loud. Uh, people would have heard me coming. We made top five on a pacifist run. The second top five we've made on a pacifist run tonight. Uh, I'm very happy about that. Uh, let's exit to lobby. And then we'll start doing the outro. We put to oh, uh, have I put together enough uh, battle points to Boston pizza points to get another crate? I don't think I have. I think it's 14 as the next threshold. I think I'm just under it. Or you can not load it. Yeah, and there it is. Convalations, Christabel. Your wife sends her regulations. I'm, I'm glad that you're proud of me. Uh, yeah, we can't get into a crate. So, whatever. Let's just hit this other button. And we'll get into the, uh, the outro. Boston Pizza Points, yeah. I picked that up from uh, Loading Ready Run because I hadn't heard of Boston Pizza until, you know, I started watching a bunch of Canadians. Katie, a born Canadian, misses Boston Pizza, and for that I apologize. I'm sorry to make you sad with memories of pizza that used to be. Uh, so anyway, thank you all uh, so much for coming and stopping in and watching what I do. Cactus baked potato pizza is amazing. That doesn't sound like a real thing. Uh, thank you so much for uh, joining me today. I, uh, I've been Christy. I'm one of five people who stream in this channel along with my wife Katie, who's been providing our music, and Alice, who's been hanging out in the chat, uh, and their sisters, Annie and Sue. Uh, you can hit follow if you like, and you can see, uh, you can get notifications for when we go live. Uh, we stream all seven days out of the week, so there's always something fun to be watching. Uh, let me tell you what we've got coming up this week. Tuesday is Andrea, uh, and she and myself are going to play a little bit of Paladins. If you like watching the Paladins streams, come in and watch this Paladins stream, because Andrea's feeling a little medium on it, and she doesn't want to be streaming something that people aren't going to watch. Uh, she would rather be streaming something that people want to come and see, uh, you know, because this is about you. You know, we're an entertainment stream. We're here to entertain the people. And uh, it feels bad to be in a stream with no people, honestly. Uh, so if you want to watch that, come and watch it. And after the Paladins, she'll be uh, playing more of Lisa, the painful RPG, uh, which is set in a post-apocalyptic wasteland full of perverts. It's very good. It is brutal and uh, handles some some real fucking things. Oh, uh, Alice is going to play Overwatch in a bitch. Oh, not on stream. So if you want to play Overwatch uh, with us, that's, uh, just find a way to contact us. We'll get you in. Uh, Wednesday is our community day. It might be Jackbox again. Uh, it might be we need to go deeper. We're going to throw out some feelers and see what our community wants to do. Uh, Jackbox, of course, is always fun because it lets people who aren't normally on, uh, on our mumble or things like that to get in. And uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll talk about it. We'll, we'll have a look. Thursday will be Alice, and Alice will be finishing up Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, the LEGO Dimensions version, and she'll start on a story pack or two. Uh, I'm not certain which story packs she wants to do. I imagine she'll leave that up uh, to the audience. So stop in there. Let's uh, let's build some cool LEGO together. Or she's going to build some cool LEGO. You're, you're going to watch. It's very, It's still very fun. 
Friday is Katie. Katie is hopefully going to be starting Salmon Max Hit the Road, the old LucasArts adventure. It's the first of the Salmon Max games, and it's canon to the Telltale series, which she also wants to do, so uh, I suggested that maybe she would like to start there, and she agreed, and uh, I couldn't be more hyped because that game is so fucking funny. Saturday is, uh, is me again. I'm going to be playing Minecraft in the morning. And I'm going to be finishing up the community center. Uh, I still need to build, like, a wizard's tower. And I still need to figure out what the hell is going on with botany and magic so that I can have a way for that to look good. Uh, but that's what I'm going to be doing. Sun Saturday night is our night off. And Sunday night comes back to Sue. Sue started Hollow Night last week. And she looks like she's enjoying that, so it's probably going to be more Hollow Knight. Uh, it's a blind playthrough. It's not quite blind, because she's played it a little bit before. Uh, but I imagine that she's going to run out of stuff that she's seen already rather quickly. Oh, she actually is past that. So, yeah, come watch that. Hollow Knight is a, a beautiful game. It's going to be fun watching her play it. And... Then Monday will come back around to me, where I will be playing Chroma Squad, the Sentai strategy game. And like I've been saying, it's going to be Chroma Squad every Monday from now until we beat Chroma Squad. Uh, so stop in for that. Thank you, uh, thank you again so much for coming in. Uh, like I said, you can hit follow to see when we go live with all of that. And if you wanted to support the channel financially, you could do that by subscribing to us. It's five bucks a month or uh, for free if you have Amazon Prime. That's, uh, if you have Amazon Prime, then you have Twitch Prime. And if you have Twitch Prime, then you're allowed one free sub a month. I would suggest using it here. I would love it if you did. But do give it to someone, because Amazon doesn't need that fucking money, and five dollars uh, means the world to a streamer. And uh, if you don't want to do that, or if you can't afford that, or for some reason have a problem giving Amazon any type of money, which is something I understand, uh, please just keep coming back and tell people that this is a fun thing to do. Uh, we love meeting new people. We want to grow our community here. We would love to do this full time. And I think that's everything I need to say. Do bring your friends. Oh, the other thing I need to say is this music that you've been hearing, this uh, this wonderful piano loop. This is called Clock Tower. It's by our community member, Xenon Fiber. You can find her music at xenonfiber.bandcamp.com. Uh, along with the EP that this comes off of, which is called Space Off, you can find her new single, which is called Jacked TFN. And that's so good that I keep getting it stuck in my damn head while I'm at work. That's everything, I think. Uh, again, thank you so much for coming in. I, uh, I love doing this. I love talking with you. I have been Christy, and until next time, stay safe.